A study happening now in Grand Rapids could help parents figure out what their children are capable of despite their disabilities. We talked to a mom whose daughter found an independence she's never experienced before. Peyton Todd is learning how to navigate the halls of GVSU's Innovation Design Center. Her smile is a window into how exciting this experience is. Our biggest challenge is was just learning all of how she worked um, because you know she she hasn't she hasn't developed like other children have. Peyton was born six years ago this month, 17 weeks early. We've had lots of uphill battles since she was born. A mobility study at Grand Valley State University has given Peyton a new experience, driving a motorized wheelchair. The first time that we, we uh, strapped her into this device, the look on her face of sheer joy that, hey, I can, I can move. The device is an indie trainer, which goes right onto Peyton's own wheelchair, turning it into a power chair. We are exploring the effects of using um, our indie trainer system on providing power wheelchair skills training to children who typically don't have the opportunity to do such training. Great job. Dr. Lisa Kenyon is running the study with funding from the National Institutes of Health. Simple video games help teach participants like Peyton how to use a power chair. She was using the joystick to pop a bubble and we can progress that so she has to use certain inputs like she has to push forward to pop a bubble or backward to pop a bubble. We hear a lot from the families who come in and say, um, you know, my child was um, evaluated for a power wheelchair and told he needed to learn the skills before he could get one. But how do you learn the skills if you don't have a power wheelchair? And so that's what we're investigating. I'm hoping that, that this program will kind of shed some light on the fact that, yes, she can do this. You've done such a great job today. We're so proud of you. She says Peyton is proof. So Children are often capable of much more than they seem. Dr. Kenyon is looking for more participants, mm. so if you have a child with cerebral palsy or a similar condition, we'll get information on how to sign up for it online at woodtv.com. So I want to ask you a question. So parents, can they use this study as a way to go to, the, go to their insurance and say, hey, my child is capable? Capable? Yes. In theory, that's not the purpose of the study. The okay. purpose is to see if they can use these indie trainers mm. to prove it. Okay. So um, that's what they're just kind of assessing at this mm. point. But then, you know, she has video that shows that her daughter right. can do it. So, yeah. In theory, she could do that. All righty. Well, thank you for sharing that yeah. story.